I'm going to go into some covers that I really don't like. Again, the number one I already mentioned, but it never hurts to say it again. It bears repeating, and you probably couldn't even hear what I was saying in that video anyway. So, um, just, these are not in order either, but just to kind of start off, I have a couple of books here. Let's start with this one. The Secret Adversary by Agatha Christie. Um, this book was really, this is her second book. It's her first Tommy and Tuppence novel. And it was really hard to find. And then I found um, a new copy on Amazon. There was no picture, but this is what I got. I guess it's just published by some independent person, if it's even a company. I don't really know, but... The book, it's not bad in itself, but first of all, it's like trees, a forest in the background. This is a spy, international, like, mystery, thriller kind of thing. It's Agatha Christie. What does a forest have to do with this? I don't think any forest in this book whatsoever. It's just like they kind of randomly, I don't know how they came up with this. Or they have this for every book that they put out is the same stock picture and they just change the words the, the title I don't know so that has nothing to do with the book whatsoever and I just even though it's not ugly per se it's weird next I have this is one example but other books in general especially the new Georgette Hare editions by source books the designer I even read an interview with her saying that She's never read any of the books. Well, gee, what a surprise. Because here, for example, is the Corinthian, and it is a girl in a dress. Okay, it's it's really not a bad picture. There's there's just one big problem. The girl in the story, her name's Penn, is never in a dress. She's dressed up as a boy the whole time. Who is this supposed to be? I have no idea. It's like they just randomly, I don't know if they went by the title or the, the designer went by the title of the book, but that wouldn't make sense either because the Corinthian refers to a man who is like good at sports and that kind of thing, I believe in Regency slang. What does this have to do with anything? I really don't know. Next, I have... These are a couple of them, just to show you. The Italian covers of Harry Potter. I own the whole series, um, Italian, because I'm a big Harry Potter fan. And I'm Italian, so I wanted to read them in that language. But the covers, I really do not like. Here is the first one, which would be uh, Harry Potter e la Pietra Filosofale. Um... It is Harry with a rat hat on playing chess with a rat. I don't know if it's supposed to be, like, symbolic or something. I have no idea. I know there's a chess game in the book, but is that the rat supposed to be Scabbers? It, what? I have no idea. It's just so weird and bizarre. It's kind of like they were read a description, like a summary of the book while they were high and then drew that picture. Um, and I'm not going to show you all of them, but here is the second one. Um, Harry Potter, or Eddie Potter e la Camera dei Segreti. This is Harry with, it's like a snake hat. I'm guessing that's supposed to be the basilisk. <laughs> um, writing a book. Maybe that's supposed to be the diary, and I guess it's Hogwarts in the background. Seriously, it's really, it's like Harry Potter on acid. I, I don't know. It's weird. Um, then I have this, I recently read this book, so that's why I'm hanging it, Catherine by Anya Seton. It's a historical romance novel. What is up with this lady? First of all, I don't think the main character, Catherine, I believe she has blonde hair. So what is up with the red hair? I don't know. Like, the pursed duck lips and the expression. I really just don't like it. This this actually isn't, like, one of really one of my least favorite covers ever, but one of my least favorite recent covers that I just read, which is why I talked about it. Also, speaking of which, another cover with a person doing, like, duck lips like this. 
is uh, Where She Went by Gail Foreman. And I think that's really weird. That's I don't own that book yet. I'll try to put the picture up. But this is the first book, If I Stay, and that is the girl. She looks innocent or whatever. The Where She Went cover is, first of all, I don't even think it's the same actress. And she's just kind of like, what? I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to represent. Like, she became a snob or something in between the books. I don't know. I haven't heard anyone, like, or read any hate on that cover, but I really just don't like it, and I was gonna buy it at the store, but then I'm like, I really hate the cover, and I'm like, can I hold out and wait until it comes out on paperback? And maybe the paperback will have a different, like, better cover? Probably not, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, this was my, I think I had maybe about six or seven each top favorite and least favorite book covers at least at the moment um thank you if anyone watches my video and hopefully likes it hopefully you can hear it this time um let me know what you think what your favorites and your least favorites are i'd love to see videos on covers that you hate because i really like to complain and rant about stuff and i i like to hear other people's complaints and rants about stuff too because i'm weird that way Oh my god, I forgot my number one. So, how could I forget that? Because I loathe this cover with... I don't want to say any bad words on here. Let's just say I really hate it. <sighs> Once again, if you couldn't hear in my first video, my least favorite book cover of all time is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This cover is horrible it has a gold sparkly guy a very effeminate looking guy with like long curly hair behind it, it's just his torso like a close-up of his torso and those are supposed to be the runes i guess that the guy the people the shadow hunters um in these books have tattooed on their skin but this cover is just bad it's terrible. It looks like it's supposed to be, like, a gay, like, smut book. Um, if you're into that kind of thing, I'm not going to judge or diss you, but this is not what this book is about, and it's ugly. Um, I don't hate, I like the books, but they're good entertainment, but they're really not in any way. They're kind of like, I think of them as like a glorified fan fiction of a fan fiction, and plus her prequel series, um, The Infernal Devices, is like a fan fiction of the, so it's like a fan fiction of a fan fiction of a fan fiction. I digress. Anyway, I actually, th apparently a lot of people also really like this cover, and I don't get it. Um, it doesn't help that there's this, like, glowing praise from Stephanie Meyer on it. If it had been just this book and just this cover with the Stephanie Meyer endorsement on it, I would have run away screaming. Um, I didn't, but <sighs> seriously, please tell me there are, I just want to know, are there other people out there, on YouTube at least, please tell me there's someone else who hates this cover because I can't be alone and well I can be alone and I'm fine with that but I would feel really sad if I was the only one who can't stand to look at that so let me know what you think this was Mars Peach thank you